The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's Bombshell Interview was nominated for Outstanding Hosted Nonfiction Series or Special at the Emmys, which recognize excellence in US TV. But the program did not win the gong at the ceremony on Sunday. Royal commentator and film critic Richard Fitzwilliams said high viewing figures were not enough to scoop the award as he hit out at the interview. He told the star. They were given too easy a life. There wasn't a single point that Oprah pushed him on. Oprah as an interviewer never pushed them. It was clearly rehearsed and parts of it were questionable. You can see why an award ceremony would see flaws that the average viewer would not pick up on. The fact that it did so well with the audience wouldn't give it a right to win by itself. Harry and Meghan's controversial interview aired in March. It was up against My Next Guest Needs No Introduction with David Letterman, Stanley Tucci, Searching for Italy, United Shades of America with W. Kamau Bell and documentary series Vice for the Emmy. If the program won, Oprah and the producing team would have picked up a gong. But it lost out to Stanley Tucci, searching for Italy at Sunday's awards in Los Angeles. Host Cedric the Entertainer poked fun at the Sussexes, who quit royal duties last year for a new life in California, during the ceremony. He told the star-studded audience, as great as the crown is, it pales in comparison to the real monarchy. Ooh I mean that Oprah interview with Prince Harry and Meghan. That was the real tea right there, wasn't it? Meghan must put it on that boy because he renounced his throne quicker than Eddie Murphy in coming to America. Harry and Meghan made a series of explosive claims about the royal family in their TV interview. But the royals made clear they did not agree with all of the Sussex's version of events. A statement issued by Buckingham Palace said that some recollections may vary. Meghan and Harry are living in Montecito after quitting as working royals in March 2020.